Good morning, RMS, Colby College, and Team University of Texas. This is Ms. Studer with your Red Fox Report. You can see I'm pretty bundled up today. It's in the 30s, which is what it's supposed to be like this time of year. So I'm out here in this beaver pond and meadow. Um, in the time that I have lived here, this has gone from a meadow to a beaver pond to a meadow, and now it's back to a beaver pond. I've lived here a little over 20 years, so that's kind of the natural order of beaver ponds. I'm here because, well, water is important. Look at all this water. We are in the middle of a major drought, and look at all this water. And all summer long, the beaver has emptied this out and used it and emptied it out because this is its old pond. It doesn't live here anymore. If you look around, there's like everything's gone around it. It ate all the food. So, you know, beavers don't like to travel out of water. They're pretty, um, they're pretty vulnerable when they're out of the water. Whereas when they're in the water, they can escape very quickly. Um, so it's kind of neat to be down here. And my summer project was to monitor these beaver ponds and just see how the beaver um, dealt with the water. And it was really cool because we were in a drought. So the beaver really had to manage its water. And there is no doubt in my mind that that was purposeful and meaningful for that animal. Um, we're up in one of its upper ponds. Uh, I have a tree stand. Where am I? Oh, right over there. A uh, tree stand right over there. Um, I sit down here all the time. I've watched this go from meadow to beaver pond, and now it's in a transition period back to meadow. The beaver keeps um, resealing the dam and putting water in here because it's been so dry, but it doesn't actually live up here anymore. It lives further downstream. Um, this place is important to a lot of people and a lot of critters, and like it tells a story. There's a story here. Like, just take a look. Let me get out of the way and take a look. Do you notice that all the trees in the beaver pond are cut at the same level? That's a story. That's a story. When this land was first bought, my neighbor um, didn't have a lot of money, and he heats with wood, and he came down here when this pond was frozen, because it was a beaver pond, and he cut all all those trees, that's about at where the level of the water was. He cut all those trees and brought them home and burnt them. Tells a story. And down in here in this mud, all by the edge, it is littered with deer print. Because deer need fresh water. This is a good place. It's right near a lot of deer trails. And they come here all the time. I see deer here all the time. Um, mostly as they're running away from me. So water is a super, super important feature of our landscape. And I think a lot of people don't really realize how important it can be. And, you know, wetlands become places where people dump trash, garbage, like big trash. Like nothing says put a washing machine here like a wetland. Um, Luckily, all these wetlands around me are really protected, and the people who own them patrol them. Uh, we have caught people throwing things into our wetlands and made them take it away. Uh, we've emptied things that people, you know, someone came and left five tires down here. Nothing says leave five tires down here like a big empty space. But we got a truck and we got them out of here. So part of what I want to show you today are these beautiful places, but Part is that idea of stewardship. There are too many of us here for us to just leave the land alone. We have to steward it. We have to pick it up. We have to, we don't let it burn, so we have to keep it clean. We have to, um, when the tornadoes come through, we have to get rid of the dead wood or it's going to burn. Like, not in that swamp where I showed you, but everywhere else it's cleaned up. Um, you know, stewardship. And Part of the reason why I do these Red Fox reports is that you are the next stewards. You are the next group of people that takes care of these places. So I hope you find them as special as I do. Pretty soon I'm going to have to do my Red Fox reports in the afternoons and post them in the mornings because it's almost too dark. I had to wait for it to get light enough. 
I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a good weekend. And remember, being good stewards of a place is part of our job. Nobody pays you for it. Nobody thanks you for it. But it's just good practice. Kind of something to think about anyway. Doing things just for the sake of goodness. No reward. The reward is the goodness. Think about that. I'm Ms. Studer, steward of the land, with your Red Fox Report.